Hi, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to capture data that was entered electronically into PDF forms. We will store the captured data in an Excel file. In this first video, we will capture the names of the fields in the forms and will then build a workflow that will create a list of all PDF forms located in a specified folder. In the next video, we will capture the data entered into the forms and write that into an Excel file. Note that the functions presented in this tutorial are only appropriate for forms that were filled electronically using a PDF reader, like Adobe Acrobat. This tutorial does not address the processing of scanned forms. Automation Studio provides a separate set of functions for processing scanned forms and images using OCR technology. In this tutorial, we will create an automation solution for a non-profit organization. Potential donors are sent PDF forms like the one shown. They fill in the form electronically and send them back. The nonprofit has asked us to help automate the capture of the data in these forms. They want the solution to work as follows. Their secretary will place all new forms in a specific folder. They want a workflow that will read the data from all forms in the folder and that will write that data to an Excel file. Once done, the secretary will manually remove the processed files from the folder. Before we can automate data retrieval from the forms, we need to find the names of all the fields in the form. We will create a simple workflow that will give us the list of field names. We will run this workflow only to get the field names so we can develop the solution. This workflow will not form part of the solution in production. In reality, the person who designed the PDF form may be able to give you the field names directly. For this video, we will assume we do not have those names initially. Place at least one filled form into the folder. Open the file to view it. We can see that there are a number of text fields and a number of checkboxes. We need to know the names of all these fields so that we can retrieve their values in our automation solution. Close the PDF reader. In Automation Studio, add one step to the initial workflow. Name the step Get Field Names. Now, create a list variable of type PDF fields. This variable will store the details of all the fields in the PDF form. Drag the new variable into the builder area. The assign function is inserted automatically. We want to populate this list with the details of the fields. Select the get PDF form fields function from the PDF documents built in service. This function is in the without Acrobat reader group. That means that Acrobat reader does not have to be installed on the client machine. And even if it is, Acrobat Reader will not be open to read each form. Enter the directory where the PDF files are stored and enter the name of any one of the PDF files. Save the project. Run the workflow. Open up the debug window. Here we can see that our list includes 15 entries. That means 15 fields were found in the form. Open up each to find its name. For example, here is the name of the last name field. Here is the name of the address field. Here is the name of the checkbox for winter clothing. Take note of all the names you need. Our solution will cycle through all forms in the folder to capture their details. We need to create a list of those files first. Return to editing mode. Create a list variable of type file info. This variable will store the details of all the files we place in the donations folder. Call the list list of file info. Create a new workflow. 
call it get file names. Add a workflow step. Call it get file information. Drag the new variable into the builder area. The assignment function is created automatically. We want to populate this list with the details of all files in the folder. Select the get file information from folder function from the files built in service. Set the extension to PDF. Make sure all the PDF files that you want to capture are in the folder. Specify the folder where the files are stored. Save. Run the workflow. Open the debug panel. The list has seven elements, one for each PDF file. Open up one of the elements. Note that the file full path property includes the full path to the file. Return to editing mode. We will be using the function get PDF form field value to read the value of each field. Drag that into the builder just so that we can see what input parameters it requires. Note that it expects the directory name and file name separately. We will need to create another list that will include only the file names of the PDF forms without the path. Create a text list called list of file names. Add a new step to the workflow. Name it get file names. We need to cycle through each element in the list of file info variable. Drag in a for each statement from the common statements group. Select the list of file info variable. For each file in that list, we want to add one new element to our new list, list of file names. Drag in the add element at end method of our new list. We will use the replace subtext function from the text built-in service to remove the path from the contents of the file full path property in the list of file info variable. We want to remove the path, so type in the path as we saw when we last ran the workflow. We want to replace the text in the file full path property of the current element in our for each loop. We want to remove that text, so replace it with empty text. The path only occurs once in the file path, so enter 1 for the number of instances. We are done with this step, but note that the first step is still in error state. We forgot to delete the function we added there temporarily. Delete that. Save. Run the workflow. Open the debug panel. The variable list of file names now lists the file names without their paths. Return to editing mode. That completes this first video in the tutorial. In the next video, we will capture the data stored in the fields in the PDF forms and will then write that data to an Excel file. Thank you for watching.